subscribe to our channel for latest video series on gain UGC net and more. Also press the bell icon so that you never miss an update on any latest video. For more information you can visit our website or call on the numbers below. Okay. Good evening people. So this question we getting a lot. We get this question a lot very frequently from all our students that uh, how important is it to read books while you are preparing for an exam? How important is research? Research means in depth study of any topic uh, important while you are preparing. See uh, I would like to answer this question in steps although I uh, start with your time span. Okay, if you have started preparation very early, uh, okay, in very early phase, suppose you started preparing for gate in your college days itself, you've got a plenty of time, you've got uh, plenty of resources, lot of energy also. So, reading books or in depth study of each topic is very nice, okay, it is going to build up strong concepts. But see if you have taken a drop after your college and you are preparing for a gate, you are preparing for some uh, engineering service examination, I would not suggest you to read books in that phase. Why? Because see in the end selection is all that matters, success is all that matters, how you got there does not matter. See if there is a easy way to lead, okay, easy way to follow to the same and leads to the same destination and then there is one tough path then if you choose the tough path out of your choice it is not a very wise decision right it's okay you anyway there are a lot of difficulties that you have to face a lot of hard work that you need to put in to not put extra efforts see uh, all the teachers all the teachers that teach you are going to tell you some reference books that do not mean that they want you to follow all of them, read all of them, solve all of them. There are some tricks, some techniques that you can follow that are going to help you more than, uh, rather than studying the complete book. See what you can do is, once you start studying a topic, say from video lectures, say from classroom coaching, whatever uh, mode you are opting for, once you have gone through the complete topic, let us say there is one point that you did not understand, one topic that you could not get, right? Try it first approach your friends, okay, friends, colleagues, nearby people, whatever options are available. So first approach should be friends or acquaintances. Try to resolve it then and there itself, okay, first, first priority. Suppose you could not get a solution from here also, right, you are still confused for this topic. Second approach can be try to solve questions from that topic. So this may sound ambiguous and vague, but see questions also give you clarity about a topic. Only theory is not important, right? Once you've gone through the theory, you've gone through the lecture, questions add clarity to that topic, okay? So try to solve some questions related to that topic. Try to see questions, try to see solutions of the question, maybe you will get clarity. If this does not work, approach your faculty, faculty or teacher, okay, either you mail them, you uh, approach them personally, whatever way you find suitable, approach your faculty. If none of them works, then you reach out to the reference book. But do not start reading it from the first page and try to complete the whole book. See, some people think we are very good at reading because they have a habit of reading novels, books, etc. Textbooks are entirely different. You cannot complete one textbook in one night, right? You cannot do that. So, after all of this is done and you do not get success anywhere, then what do you do? You go to reference book. Then you refer this book. Okay, just open the chapter that you did not get, the topic that you did not get, you had problem with, go through that topic and done, right? Do not try to study it from 4-5 books, see this mistake, one mistake that people generally do, students while preparation, they will try to refer a lot of books. See, purchasing books, referring books, very good, very good habit, but do not try to study 
all the books completely like generally uh, if i talk about electronics in particular when you go through analog electronics analog electronics is a big vast subject in itself it's having different parts okay so teachers are going to refer you two three books for different parts of that subject okay there there many books milman halkias is there then many many books are there and all of them are very good very nice books but you cannot read all of them okay it's going to take a lot of your time if you have like if you have spare two three years of your life for preparation you can certainly do that but i don't think that happens to anybody see so there are going to be some topics that your faculty is not going to take in class okay they are not going to teach you they are not going to give lectures on that topic see there is a reason why they did that okay maybe those topics are not very important they are not being asked very frequently they do not have that much weightage in the examination they've observed the pattern already if they have left those topics no need to go to books and study them in detail see of course suppose you uh, appeared in gate once you got a very good rank now you just giving gate again to improve your rank then all these practices are definitely going to help you very help helpful actually okay but suppose you're preparing for the first time you you just study these things for the first time then focus on first things first okay what does first things first mean first try to complete your syllabus if you have an habit of reading textbook if you think you cannot you cannot actually learn if you unless you read textbook what you can do is just a lot time okay suppose you have eight subjects in gate okay technical subjects other than maths english and aptitude you have eight subjects in gate and you started preparation in june okay so now you know that your exam is going to be in january fine so you have effectively you have almost 5 to 6 months and you have eight subjects to cover now there are going to be some subjects that you are good at you are already good at they're going to take less of your time and there are subjects which is very small they don't take a lot of your time very numerical so you can cover them very fast fine so you make a effective strategy right how much time am i going to allot to which subject see they cannot be a generalized strategy for this one strategy cannot work for all the students because each of you would have your individual in the favorite subjects individual strong parts some of you might not like numerical subjects some of you might hate uh, theoretical subjects so you form the strategy for yourself and work accordingly suppose you have allotted one month for analog electronics right now if you have allotted one month for analog electronics you have completed your uh, lectures you have watched all the videos you have done practicing all the question you certainly go for reading books okay you you have left some parts some parts were not covered in the videos some parts have not been covered by the faculties what you do you open the books and read them yourself that is a very good strategy but you have allotted one week for a subject and you start reading book for that subject that is not going to work okay see research and learning is very important in life but be very clear with your aim be very particular with your aim be focused okay be very well aware that what you are aiming for what are you preparing for you're not right now if you are in preparation phase you're not learning phase okay you're not preparing to learn you're preparing to succeed to clear some exam okay so act wisely act accordingly only right see what what people do is when you are uh, reading a book what you will do is you read that book once then you'll underline important parts other time when next time you want to revise what do you do you take out the book then you read the underlined parts see that takes a lot of time one practice that you can follow in place of that is forming your own notes micro notes and mega notes now what are these mega notes and micro notes see whenever you are going through a lecture okay or maybe if you are studying in classroom then whenever you are revising your class notes or watching a lecture what do you do you form two types of notes what are they going to be one are going to be mega notes what do these mega notes cover they cover definition formula okay all the important formula all the important definitions that you came across maybe some diagrams some diagrams 
okay some if you suppose you have some subjects like this so uh, logic diagrams whatever whatever you find important in any subjects you cover here definitions formulas diagrams whatever right now what are these micro notes these micro notes do not cover even these things what are they going to cover they cover when you when you first practice gate previous year questions what mistakes you committed what are the mistakes that are occurring again and again okay so these are basically going to cover your mistakes why because see these are the concepts you are weak in you actually need to revise before going to the exam these are things you need to see just an hour before the exam these are the notes you are going to carry to your exam hall okay so you you write them in uh, you write in them your mistakes that you are doing again and again some things when you go through your notes two three times you know what you forget each and every time there are going to be things that you already know before you flip the page you know that on next page i have written this there are going to be some things you cannot remember like i'll give you an example for me in uh, network theory there is a formula to transform y network to delta and delta to y i could not remember that formula ever okay so that would go in my micro notes that i need to see just before i enter the exam or i cannot remember that formula so there are things like that there would be things like that for you also that would go into your micro notes so you can follow this practice okay this helps a lot while preparation but reading books or uh, research some some students have habit of researching about a topic okay they go in a lot of depth about the topic you tell them one word you tell you teach one concept they'll study everything about it they'll study all the research papers also that have been published related to that see that is not a very good habit while you are preparing even if you have completed all the syllabus you are satisfied i have completed all the questions also syllabus also i studied everything you go for that very nice but if you have not done that just just don't stop uh, to read books or to do research on a topic okay allocate time allocate time for each subject and accordingly you prepare subjects right so uh, i'd recommend that you do not do not go after reading all the books completely one thing that can help you more is practice questions from reference books see whatever standard books uh, teachers refer to you before taking on a subject that book is actually of some standard author some uh, good good author so what happens is whenever you are preparing for an exam gate exam engineering service exam maybe ugc net also there are questions directly from those books they are they giving questions directly from those standard books see gate exam is prepared by iit professors now they are teaching from those books so sometimes they are going to give questions from that book itself so what you can do is rather than studying theory of the book rather than going through the book completely what you do is just practice the questions from every book if you have time try to solve questions of standard books that is actually going to help you plus it covers the matter see they are giving questions from the theory only right they they given theory of about a topic after that they giving some questions uh, related to it so even if you have not studied the theory once you try to practice and solve those questions you uh, you can uh, understand if you missed any concept if there was something that was not told to you and is written in the book you will get it once you try to solve the questions so rather than studying from the books reading the books i would suggest that you try to solve the questions from the books okay try to solve all the standard books all the exercises solved and solved examples exercises questions everything from standard books that is going to help you that is actually going to help you right but for some subjects like uh, aptitude maths do not follow any book why because uh, see ap the level of aptitude that they are asking in for gate and engineering service especially is not very good okay it's very very low the very uh, simple questions they are asking if you try to follow any book of aptitude it is going to be so it's going to have some good questions which is actually wasting your time so do not do that right so uh, this is all i would uh, say about this if you have any other questions like this you can just leave that in comments we'll try to cover the answers like this in another video thank you